Hey, how are you doing? In the previous lesson, you learned how to describe a holiday you particularly enjoyed and got to know the importance of using adjectives. You also listened to a young beautiful woman, Yulia, giving her talk and sharing her own traveling experience. In this lecture, we're gonna analyze the recording script from her talk. I'm sure you're gonna gain a lot from it. Let's jump right in. First of all, let's have a look at this speaking part 2 topic again. Describe a holiday you particularly enjoyed. In the previous video, you already listened to Yulia giving her talk about this topic. Let's take a look at the recording script and see what we can learn from her. So this is the recording script. Listen to the audio again and pay very close attention to the words in different colors. Here we go. I'd like to talk about a holiday which I took in 2005. It's a holiday that I remember very well because we had such a fantastic time. I went with three other girls who are all friends of mine and we still talk about this holiday today, even though it's so many years later. I mean, we're all married now. But we decided that uh, we wanted to go away together. So we chose Egypt, which was absolutely, how can I say it? The Red Sea was so clear and so impressive. You can see everything. You know, it's not dirty like so many seas these days. And it has amazing sea life kind of creatures that you can only imagine in your dreams. It was funny, because usually I'm a person who is quite scared of things, and I didn't think I would put a mask on my face or go under the water. But I wanted to see the coral so much. It was such a colorful, wonderful experience that I just put the mask on, and then, wow, I couldn't believe all the shapes and types of fish. It was absolutely breathtaking. And what else did we do? Yes, we also went to see the ancient pyramids and the National Museum, which were all beautiful and also really impressive. I enjoyed this holiday so much because I had my best friends with me. I don't know if I'll ever have another holiday as memorable as this one. Wow, I think she did a really great job there. Let me tell you what I like about her answers. First of all, she answered all of the questions directly. This is one of the most important things which I can't stress enough. Remember, you only have two minutes to answer all of the questions. Therefore, don't waste your time giving some irrelevant information. Just go straight to the point. Let me give you some examples. To deal with the first requirement, describe a holiday you particularly enjoyed. What did she say? Well, she said, I like to talk about a holiday which I took in 2005. It's very clear and direct. Next, how did she answer the three main questions? The first one, where you went? What did she say then? So, we chose Egypt. The Red Sea was so clear and so impressive. We also went to see the ancient pyramids and the National Museum. How about question 2? Why you went there? How did she answer this question? She simply said, We decided that we wanted to go away together. So that's her main reason to travel. Just to be with her friends. It's short and efficient. Cool, right? Let's move on to question 3. What you did? How did she answer this question? Well, she says something like, I didn't think I would put a mask on my face or go under the water. And we also went to see the ancient pyramids and the National Museum. Lastly, how did she explain why she enjoyed the holiday so much? She said, It's a holiday that I remember very well because we had such a fantastic time. I enjoyed this holiday so much because I had my best friends with me. As you can see, all of her answers are very pure and straightforward. I would give her talk some extra points due to the simple, well-organized structure that she has created. Another cool thing about her speech, which I truly love, is that 
She used some phrases such as How can I say it? You know. And what else did we do? To buy her some time when she was a little bit stuck or when she couldn't remember some particular words immediately or it's simply because she needed more time to think. It's a fantastic strategy to buy time and avoid quiet moments which may affect your mark negatively otherwise. Besides, she used the phrase Wow, I couldn't believe to express her feeling or emphasize that she actually liked something. Such an outstanding choice. In addition, don't forget to check out the list of the adjectives she used such as fantastic, clear, impressive, not dirty, amazing, colorful, wonderful, breathtaking, ancient, beautiful, impressive, and memorable. These adjectives make her sound like a pro when she used them to describe the Red Sea, the sea life she saw, the pyramids and the National Museum, and the entire holiday. That's what I extremely like about her. Finally, let's talk about transition words. Did she use any? Of course she did. Check out the transition words that she used. Because, even though, but, so, and then, and. That's pretty good. One more important thing. Here's what she can do to improve her talk next time. Although these transition words are cool, they're too common and repeated. If you keep using the same words again and again, you may get a low point. Therefore, I suggest that you better use each transition word one to two times only for each speech. You may want to check the previous lessons in this course for some professional ways to replace those ordinary transition words. I guess I have given you quite enough information to do well in this particular speaking test, right? Now it's your turn. The more you practice, the better you will become. What I'd like you to do is to work in pairs. Take turns to do this speaking task. Before you speak, take a minute to prepare your talk. You can write down some notes within that one minute of preparation. Then, keep speaking for approximately two minutes. During speaking, you can always look at your notes. Before we end this lesson, I'd like to give you a bonus. Guess what it is? Another speaking part two task. Yay! This one is a bit similar to the previous one. Hence, you can easily practice and play around with this topic. Such a phenomenal way to learn, right? Here is your task. Describe your idea of a perfect holiday. You should say where it would be, how you would get there, where you would stay, and explain why this would be your perfect holiday. Now change partners and take turns to do this speaking task. Enjoy! That's it for today guys. I hope you found this lesson informative and helpful. If you do, please like and share. I'll see you in the next video.